Okay, so here we are in Leicester Square, London. There's been many attempts at trying to change Earthling Ed's mind without success. Let's see if they can change mine. So what we've got on the screen is Land of Hope and Glory here. Film made by Earthling Ed and his partner, Luna. Like, they're thinking about it, but they don't want to come up and chat about it, eh? Oh so, dear, yeah. you got vegan food. I have, yes, I have got vegan oh, wow. food. Oh wow. So I watch your videos and I, I think they're really great. My name's Hannah. Hannah, nice to meet you, Hannah. Nice what do you think of the sign? Um, I, I do like the sign. Yeah. It did make me smile. Hard to defend, hey? Yeah, it's definitely hard to defend. Yeah, so, yeah. we'll see how we go though. <laughs> nice on. to meet you. She's already vegan. Must have turned to vegan just from the sign. Maybe a lot of people couldn't change my mind. What about this guy? Thank What's your you name? Fight. Charles. Are you local, are you? Uh, no, I'm up here from the south, but... Oh, really? Uh, UK. So, we've got a sign here. I see it. You read the sign? Yeah, I've read the sign, and... It's very difficult to look at that and say you could change anybody's mind, because I don't think you'll find that many meat eaters would actually support animal abuse. So that statement you've got on the front there is a little bit controversial. Do you think it's a false statement? I think it's a hard statement to support. Really? It, it's, it's a broad statement, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's something that maybe vegans and strict vegans who took it for maybe conscious reasons. Yeah. I, would, I, would, I would think if you did a census of people who are vegans now as opposed to vegetarians, they've, they've not necessarily done it from a moral point of view. I think they've probably done it as, as much from a, a health point of view. They've decided yeah. that for them, being vegan is probably a healthier alternative than, yeah. than, than anything else. So, yeah. Are you, do you want to sit down as well? Are you used together? Oh, no, I was just... You're not together, used to? No. Okay, can we have the conversation okay. together and can you... Uh, you can come back later and we can discuss... I, I you won't can, be long. Are you used together? Because you can no, sit... No, no, oh, no, no. no. Uh, yeah. now, this will be posted on my channel later on, So, but we just want to have a discussion together. With you there, it's going to create a little bit of a distraction. I appreciate so, it. Thank so you. I've been sitting there looking at that thinking, well, what would the arguments be? And the alternative to the so-called uh, animal cruelty is if, is, is if we could all live on vegetables alone, how would you sustain that? Okay. How, how would you feed the world? Okay. Is there enough land to grow enough crops to feed all those people? Okay, well, I'll, I'll answer that, but um, your first, the first few things you said was yeah. that vegans tend to go vegan for health reasons. Is that? I, I, would, I, I wouldn't say no. That, that, that's not so so only I'm conscious vegan, vegans would understand this I, sign? I would think a lot of people who were perhaps vegans from day one, yeah, they've done it out of conscience because they're against eating animals in general, they see that as being totally wrong. But I also think it, 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 it's, it's partly a trend now. There's, there's, they've seen the rise in veganism for yeah. the last two or three years, where maybe people, the vegetarians who weren't quite sure, but they try to do that ethically right thing, have all of a sudden gone, well, actually, the next step is, is veganism. So I, I just want to keep this on the topic yeah. here. Now, I think we're going out into multiple different pl yeah, yeah. No, places, no, no, which we can no, we can talk yeah, about yeah. crops and how many crops yeah, and will yeah, we be, yeah. able, be able to stand. Yeah. It. But do you agree that if you eat animal products or use animal products, then you support animal abuse? No, no. I, I I've, I've got to say no. Okay. Um, For what reason? Well, I, because I think if if you said yes to that argument then you'd stop eating meat because I don't think there's many people out there, meat eaters included, who would ever support animal abuse. And I know that you can say, well, if you eat meat, then obviously animals have got to go to slaughterhouses and they're not going to live a full life and they're only bred for their commodity. But I still think a lot of meat eaters out there would like to think that these animals are being eaten because they're a sustainable product, that they are they're bred for the meat, they hopefully get reared in humane conditions, they get fed in fields. I know that's not always the case and I know that's not an ideal world, but most of us, in order to, I'm thinking the right word here, but in order for us to eat meat, 
you look at maybe this thing in a package and you don't see the whole animal. If you see a chicken breast, you're not thinking of a chicken. If you see yeah. a pork chop, you're not thinking of there's a, there was a pig there. So you understand supply and demand, don't you? I absolutely do, yes. So when you pay for animal products, animals, all the animals go to the slaughterhouse, yeah? Yes, absolutely. Would you consider being slaughtered in a slaughterhouse abuse? Of course not. So by virtue of supply and demand, if you're not vegan, you support animal abuse? No, I, I, again, I think this all, all the animal market now is so legislated that I think in, in to try and prove animal abuse in the sense that animals before they're slaughtered don't have a good life or perhaps are brought up in conditions that nobody would want to live in. I, I think that would be hard to prove nowadays on, on, a, on, a, on a, a whole scale level. Really? Well, yeah, um, well, I know we you could show me. This. Yes, this is, uh, this, is called so land, is this is called Land of Hope and Glory. This is all yeah. across the UK uh, around 2016. Um, these are standard legal practices in the UK. Um, but we can talk about the welfare issue. Um, of course, there's going to be towel docking, teeth clipping. Um, these are all stock standard practices. Um, you know, we've got. Let's look, we've got gas chambers that kill pigs in the UK, a third of all pigs are killed in gas chambers. Um, this is a gas chamber here, they have one in Manchester. But, but again, don't you think that... Would you call this abuse? Absolutely, but don't you think you're taking the extremes of, of what you can find and you put that up there and show people the worst case scenarios as opposed to this is what's happening all over the country, all over the world. Well, a third of all pigs in the UK are gas chambered. That's a, that's a large number. Okay. And um, would, but that, but that in a lot of ways, would, would that be considered humane or not? I mean, is, is, Would it? Well, I don't know, you put yourself in the animal's position, we could, but let's talk about the, the highest standard of welfare you, can, you could imagine, because you might not have seen standard legal practice in the UK. You might not think factory farms right. even exist in the UK, but they do. Right. They do. There's about 800 mega farms here in the, the UK that just house so many animals. And, you know, most of the, fa uh, the pork here is factory farm, 90%. Um, chickens live in conditions like this free range really means not much most people have seen images of that yeah so so this here you know how you, you talked about commodifying animals do you think treating someone or exploiting them as a product is abuse again you, you, you'd be you'd be morally corrupt if you said it wasn't I mean of course okay. you do think I, uh, no well, you did before you did earlier you said that it's not animal abuse to like, if you're not vegan, you don't support animal abuse. Yeah, no, I'd still, I'll still maintain that. I still maintain that. I, I think you can be a meat eater, but still be totally against animal abuse. And in your mind, maybe, but in your actions? Well, all right. I mean, the, 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 the biggest action you could take is never to eat meat again. But uh, is meat the only area that we exploit animals for products? Well, no. There's a, a, animals exploited right throughout. They've been exploited right throughout time for everything yeah. that, they, that, that they contain, from their bones and their skins to you know yeah. their meat. So, absolutely, you know, it's it's not the only product from animals. And so, so let's bring it back to the, the what it says on the sign. You yeah. still maintain, even though you agree, supply and demand causes their their slaughter. Sure even yes. even not the higher welfare. I, I have to. I'm a meat eater, and I'm not about to give up meat tomorrow. I do, however. I can I can see the 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 idealistic sign of being a vegan. I get that. Personally, from a physical point of view, I don't know if I could sustain myself on vegetables alone. I mean, I, I have you ever tried it? I, I I we at home I do these we do these meat free days and that's fine, but. Maybe it's habit, I don't know, but I, I can't see myself personally giving up eating meat. Okay, and well, I can't. And, and again, I'm, I, I would still be against that sign saying I am against animal cruelty. In an ideal world, if I could look at every piece of meat I ever bought and have a label on it that said this animal was reared to its end of its life and passed away peacefully and you're eating that. It, I know, I know, but yeah, you know, uh, I'm sorry for laughing, but that, wish, that is I just a, a fairy tale land. Point. And I know it's not. Can I we talk about, you called veganism idealistic and do, don't you think it's a cheap, I want to talk, because you, you keep, you're giving me a lot of different things here and I don't want to forget any of these points. No, you said I, you don't I, think I you can. I think it's ideal. Well, it is idealistic. If you think about it, I don't think anybody that, that just at vegetables alone would have a, have a healthy lifestyle. Okay. There's probably do, I look, do I look unhealthy? I'm sure, I'm sure you're very healthy, but 
you know, we're led to believe from various reports that you will, li- you will uh, read that you will need to take supplements at some stage to make up for the proteins or the fats or the things that perhaps we've been used to throughout our life. I have to cut you off there. Where do you think protein originally comes from? I know there's protein in vegetables. I know. Th- I know. So, that. so you're arguing from a false premise, saying that we'd need to take a protein supplement, but most protein comes from all protein originally comes from plants. Because the animals you eat, where do they get their protein from? Yeah, no, I, I, I can see yeah. that argument, and but it's going around in a circle to the extent is that... Have you heard of the American, uh, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics? Yes. So they brought, they brought out a massive uh, peer-reviewed statement saying a vegan diet, a well-planned vegan diet can be healthy for all stages of life. And it was supported by about 117 studies in that big uh, document and it's backed by the NHS. So would you still maintain your position that you can't be healthy eating a plant-based diet? Yes. Only because... Based on what evidence? Well, based on the evidence that I've read, based on the reports that I read in magazines, is vegan a healthy diet? Yes, it is a healthy diet, but in most cases, the reports I've read would say that at some stage you would need to take supplements. So would you rather take supplements or contribute to animal abuse? Again, it's a personal thing. I I still, still, again, I would say, as a meat eater, you will then you're then classifying all meters as animal abusers. Anybody that would consume anything that's got a meat product in it becomes... Well, I would um, say that you support it, I, w- uh, I mean, by virtue of supply and demand. Financially. Cool. Yes, you do. Because yeah. yes. these slaughterhouses only exist because you want to con- eat animal products or use animal products. Um, so you've seen this. You're, you're watching this right now. Yeah. Do you think that this is no, like no, false footage no, or... Well, I don't think it's all but I think it's sort of se- sensationalised. You've, you've obviously chosen which to chosen use. Chosen the yeah, the ones that show the worst aspects of rearing animals. Have you seen slaughterhouse footage before? What? I have, yeah. No, everybody's seen it. So, everybody. do you do you think if you witness the animals before they go to slaughter, every time you paid for a burger, it would change your mind? Yeah, I don't see how it can't. I think if you're a human being with any compassion, if, if you stood in a slaughterhouse, you'd probably go away thinking, yeah, I don't know if I could eat meat again. You'd be more agreeable with this statement, maybe? Yeah, but again, I'd, I'd, I'd still go down the line. A lot of vegans are idealists. A lot of vegans, are, and a lot of vegans, a lot of younger vegans now are, are sort of jumping on this bandwagon of, well, if I'm a vegan, then obviously it's a great thing to be, and it's, and it, it is, there are trends. What, what is your problem with being against an animal abuse? Well, I, I am, I'm against animal abuse, I'm still not against eating meat. So, if, if I was to say I'm against domestic violence, but I still beat my wife, would that be consistent? That's contradictory. That's okay. contradictory. So, can you be against animal abuse while you're paying for oh, them to so go to the slaughterhouse? Say, for instance, then, you take the worst scenarios there. Say I was a person that grew bred sheep yep. and, I, and I looked after those sheep and I loved those sheep and you know they're, they're coming to the, the end of their lives, one of them dies naturally and I start eating that meat. Am I going to feel guilty? No, I'm not. So is that, the, is that where you get your meat from? Animals that have died yes. naturally? Look, you can, you, we're going around in circles again because you, as soon as you say, look, you're eating meat, therefore you're eating yeah. stuff that's I been... Mean, if you ate roadkill, I wouldn't have a moral problem with that. Yeah, I know, and neither would I, and I probably wouldn't eat it. You know, if you were to eat your dog after your dog passed away, I wouldn't have a moral problem with that either. I'm sure you would. But when you, when you pay for them to be in a slaughterhouse, then it kind of become, uh, becomes a moral issue. Do you agree? It's always a moral issue, and I think anybody that eat meat knows that. I, again, I don't think you can just condemn people because they eat meat as supporting... And your statement there is a thing. You're supporting animal cruelty. Yeah. And, and I, you agreed yeah, with me. If you took, if no, if you took, I didn't say and that's why I'm here. You agreed that supply and demand causes animal abuse. It does, but it doesn't mean to say because I eat meat, I support that. Maybe not in your mind, but in your actions. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't. I believe that 90% of people are against animal abuse, exactly, but they but, but they, they support it. Yeah, but again, they're supporting it. But so that's like me saying I'm against domestic violence, but I beat my wife. No, it's I not. have a, a, No, no, it's not. It's what's not. different I'm not about out it? Out there, breeding animals and killing them and abusing them or anything else. So it's paying. It's you're paying I, the hitman. Yeah, but I, yeah, no, no. I still, I still, I still think maintain that argument doesn't. What would you, doesn't What would happen if everyone went vegan? What would happen to animal abuse? Yeah, what would well, what would happen to the planet? I know that they say, all right, there's this big study, animals, cows in particular, create a lot of CO2, create a lot of pollution to the atmosphere. I know that. I would be in favour of reducing meat consumption, but again, I wouldn't be in favour of 
of banning it, I wouldn't. I'd, I would think um, I think animals could be bred uh, in good conditions and allowed to live in good conditions, be slaughtered if that's the case, in humane conditions, there'd be no need for cruelty. That would be the ideal world. Uh, can you tell me what your ideal conditions for humane slaughter would look like? Yeah, again, that's easy, isn't it? So you say, oh, humane slaughter. Um, it's death without pain. Can you draw a picture in, no, in the... No, I can't. I'm not an expert on that sort of thing, so I wouldn't be able to say to you what a, a, a painless death would be other than that if the animal died instantly, you would assume that that was a painless death. Do you think, think that's an ethical thing to do? I think... Yes, yes, I think it would. I, it, you, you've got to understand how people view animals as well. I mean, the mentality towards animals is their products. Is that true? Well, no, but I think I, I see animals as as a commodity. Yeah, I've got to say, I, I'm a meat eater. I, I don't see them as, as this as individuals or worthy of rights. But, but, but you well, do, no, though, because you're against their abuse. Yeah. No, right, yeah, rights in the sense that they have a right to a life that's that's not going to be abusive. So not, no again, torture, I, you mean? I, an animal, to me, is an, is an animal. It's what it is when people put characters in their dogs and their cats and everything else, but then say, oh, well, you know, you, you, it's wrong for the Chinese to perhaps, or the, 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 in the Far East, they, they eat animals. I, I don't think you, if, if you're a meat eater that you can make that distinction. I think animals are what they are, they're animals. So you don't have a moral problem with killing and eating dogs for food if you have alternatives in the supermarket? Uh, uh, no, I, well I, I can't, I can't. I, I, as a meat eater I don't think you can, you can have that um, compassion for one thing and not another. I don't see how you could see, treat a dog, a cow, a, a, a horse, any animal as being any different from any other. What about humans? Do you think it would be okay to kill a human if they didn't feel pain? I well, end of life stuff. Absolutely. Again, I'd be in favour of um, uh, euthanasia. You mean euthanasia? Yeah. That's okay, but what about murder? Well, nobody's in favour of murder. But I know you can go back to this. We're going back in a circle again. Um, well, I'm trying to find out this animals. But I, I, my argument yeah. is, unfortunately, uh, I see animals as animals. I don't see them as, as, as being human beings and I don't see them as, as being... So you see them as lesser than so it justifies what we do to them for food? Maybe it's just because over the centuries it's what we've done and, yeah. and it's something that I've known all my life and yeah I don't, I don't see anything wrong with eating meat. And that's why that's the only reason I'm sitting here. Again, you can show me this picture as long as many times. You can, I know you can. And I could show you pictures of human beings being treated in a similar situation. Do you pay for that to happen? No, and I wouldn't want it to happen. Okay, but, but, again, but, but find, let's just say this. We can all find extremes of all these situations. Can I, give you, but can I give you a scenario, right? Where in your life are you paying for human beings to be murdered? I'd like to think I'm not, but I'm sure there's okay. some there's some okay. funding somewhere going to, to people yeah. being killed, I'm sure. There might be. There might be. There, there could be if we yeah. search around or something, but this is pretty obvious. That is obvious, yeah, and, and, and it's always been there. Um, again, I'd like to think that whatever government agencies are out there could put a stop to animal cruelty. And I, Do you I, think they're going to stop an industry that is so heavily funded by the general public and there seems to be no real oh, people? supply and demand. And until yeah. people start reducing their meat intake, these things are always going to happen because there's always going to be people that exploit things. Would you say to me if I was a domestic abuser that I should reduce my domestic violence or eliminate it? No. And again, we're not here to talk about domestic abuse because you're stating... It's an analogy. Well, it's it still abuse. Be, it's yeah. a moral issue. It, it, it is. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to use your justifications in the different yeah, yeah, contexts yeah. to see if they are logically consistent. Yeah. That's well, all I'm doing. I, I, I think anybody hopefully watching this would not see the, uh, the, the analogy that you're trying to make. Um, well, well, let's just say I had a rape-free Monday. Would that sound ethical to you? No. Okay, what about rape free every day and just be against rape? If you're anti-rape, don't rape. Yeah, well, absolutely. So if you're anti-animal abuse, can you still contribute to their slaughter? Again, I am anti-animal abuse and I don't want to contribute to their slaughter, but I do like eating meat and I'm sorry I can't change your mind. I'm not here to change your mind. I was interested in the statement and I was interested to see how this... I'm interested in, your, in the way you yeah, view things because I, I used to be the same way. 
Um, well, there you are, so you're a convert, so... Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I felt like I was a hypocrite. Born, born again meat eater. I, f I felt like I was a hypocrite. Yeah, and, and I think there's a certain element of that in anybody that eats meat. I think you do it with a, a slightly guilty conscience because you know that whatever you're eating had to be killed and nobody likes that. How but, about this statement? I love dogs, but I, I love eating their flesh too. Well, I'm sure if you went some parts of the world, they'd probably say yes to that. But no, again, I wouldn't. I wouldn't condone that. In, what about in rescuing cycles? a dog from a shelter, looking after them, giving them a humane life, and then bolt gunning them in the head and eating their body? Again, worst case scenarios, no. It's a bit no. very close analogy. It's not even very di di different. Yeah, like I know. I mean, it probably is a close analogy to what happens in, like you've just shown this image now of sheep going to a He's slaughter. seeing a sheep get there. Yeah. yeah. But I could agree with you that if we all had to face that before we ate meat, probably nobody would eat me yeah I, I want to talk about you yes like so you, you see this as immoral uh, yes I do yes yeah so where are you sourcing your meat from I'm like everybody else I walk into a supermarket yeah and you you, you miss this whole part don't you uh, yeah absolutely yeah. we know it exists so what do they show you on the packaging well, yeah, it's a bit like the smoking thing, isn't it? People continue smoking even with the images on the packet, and I think... What p images are on packages of meat? Grassy? Uh, nothing. No, nothing. There's nothing on an image of you never, meat. You ever see a happy cow? No, no, no. And again, maybe that's a reflection on society as a whole, though, is that we turn a blind eye to this, and nobody really wants to think how that got onto the plate or yeah. that got into the supermarket. Yeah, I agree with again, that. Again... I, yeah, I, I, and that's, again, that's why I say I am against animal cruelty, but... Your it, actions don't, ref your no, actions don't actions reflect don't, it. But I am against it, and I would think that if you ask 90% of meat eaters, but more, more than that, they would all say the same thing. I'm tending to agree with you, but yeah. they all contribute to it in their day-to-day -day lives three times a day, more. Yeah. Yeah, and we do. Um, I haven't eaten any meat today, in fairness, and there's a chance, a good chance I might not. But again, I'd be hypocritical to say that I'm not going to eat meat, because I will. Yeah. Um, do you think vegans just don't eat meat, or they just are anti... I, no, I, 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 I would think that at it, it, the moment it's 50-50. I would think uh, the rise in vegans is because, one, there's just been people who have been lifelong vegans. My daughter is, is now just moving from vegetarian to veganism. Yeah. Um, all power to her. It's, so it's vegans don't things. contribute to animal exploitation in dairy and eggs and clothing and... No, I mean, again, it, it's... You'd have to look so carefully if you wanted to, to, to yeah, class yourself as... Yeah, no, I know. As, class themselves as complete vegans and I, and I sort of... Not really. Well... I don't... Well, you do. I mean, you can't, you can't have the leather products, you can't have the food Very products. Easy. There's many clothes that well, I've maybe seen. it is. Yeah. yeah, I don't. It's not one of those routes I've ever looked at. But um, yeah, I, I, it, it's not for me. And again, it's the reason okay. I'm sitting. But here. so you still disagree with the statement? I still agree. So, yeah, I do. Okay. I do. You, after everything we talked about, supply and demand, yeah, show just slaughterhouse, and I can agree with you on ninety percent of your, what you say. But that statement out there, I would think anybody that sits here and says that by what they're doing, they're supporting not supporting that they believe in animal cruelty they would say no they don't believe in animal cruelty. it's not no i know that eating meat is in some stages in it's some parts this. is causing this unfortunately it it still won't stop me eating meat okay but okay. i appreciate your conversation right, no, let me give right. you let me give you this that's um right. i just want to give you like a little card yeah um oh, and, no, like, and I, I really like, no, no, really no, appreciate like the chat no, 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 I, and uh, I understand all your arguments and, and most most of the people out there will, but as I've said, it won't stop me eating meat, which is, I think, probably going to be... Yeah. Uh, Do you think that's reason. a problem with society? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Things won't change I, unless society I, does. I would be interested, though, that, you know, we, you, you've said, well, we're not, we're not going to look around at... Uh, at whether or not we can grow enough vegetables, whatever. But okay. if do you want if, me to answer that for you before you finish? Well, all right. So I was sitting there just thinking. Well, all right. In, in an ideal world, we turn over all our meat production, all our fields, all the things that we've been used to for all the farms, and we put them down to arable land and growing vegetables yeah. and growing crops. 
would that sustain the population okay. as a you whole? You know, there's about 70 billion land animals on Earth at one time, and right. we feed them something. Yeah, yeah, so we're yeah. growing all those crops yeah, and giving them water, that. land, yeah. and so if we just ate the plants directly yeah. instead of feeding... Oh, yeah, that, that would be interesting. That would be probably one of the arguments that if you could say to people, look, we can sustain quite comfortably the whole of our population by growing all the vegetables that you would ever need and all the nutrition and all the protein involved, I, I think you could persuade a lot of people to change. There's a, there's a not you though. There's a I, film called I, Cowspiracy, I would, but... I would, I would have to see the facts and figures. I don't okay. think that... Well, that it just makes logical that, sense that yeah. a big cow takes a lot of water and land and resources and crops to feed them. But as you've already said, th there's a lot of products that will come as byproducts of that animal that you don't see, as, as in the skins and the bones and, and, and in everything. In terms of else. calories, it's a bad use of our resources. Well, again, uh, you know, that's not something that's ever, ever told us. It's not, if you said this particular cow in its lifetime will eat two acres of... Um, grass and what, and it will cost X amount to keep going. If you grow vegetables, you could cut that by 60% yeah. because vegetables just need tending and whatever. I think um, it's something like 16 times more plants to create the same amount. So we're feeding 16 okay. times more so plants for the. Again, the animal cruelty thing is something that will get there, but I don't think that alone will stop people from eating. But that's sad to me. I, I, That's really it's sad. A, it's a, but you, you know, you're sitting there. It's, it's a fact of life. It's not. It's, it, it's a reality. It's these people all wandering around here today will probably go and have a sandwich and a burger, and, and, and for probably nine out of ten of them, it will contain some meat product. I want the society to be more empathic, yeah. show empathy, and put if themselves see, in their position. If they see someone kicking a dog in the street, I'd stop them. They would stop. You'd stop me. Exactly. If I had a pig here about to kill the pig, would you stop me? But that's that's not what's wrong with society that's just a fact of society at this moment in time that doesn't make it moral or acceptable it make it moral right but it's a fact yeah. it's a fact and you, you you know you can't deny that i can't deny that so, so i feel like this is a fact so in order for people in order to change people's ideas of what they can and can't eat and what is good and what isn't good for them i think you've you've not just got to go down the road of their consciences and whether animals are being slaughtered humanely or not, but you've also got to bring in maybe... Are you giving me advice on how to turn people vegan and you won't even go vegan? <laughs> Thanks for giving me the advice. Yeah, would you take it? All right, yeah. So what would eventually, I have to say? Okay, eventually. let me ask you this. What would I have to say to you right now? Yeah. You give me the advice you'd give someone to stop, to, to stop eating animals, to go vegan. I'd, I'd say you can't do it on just that alone because okay this is this uh, we've seen these pictures for a long time this isn't you and so what, it's not so, something i haven't seen and it's not something so I what would i need to tell you about you'd have to bring on the other arguments well from a health point of view okay a lot of people now are obviously aware of that leading health. cause of heart disease is cholesterol yeah, found in animal products that's got to be brought more okay, to there the we go floor. and then we go amazon yeah. deforestation ocean dead zones okay. land use water use so there's got to be a bigger picture that okay. in itself we've I, talked about that that in itself as you, you see is not enough for well, people just to do it about land use water use yeah, amazon yeah. deforestation so, crops. Okay, so we're all worried about the planet now we're all worried about so what about species extinction the climate change all of these things yeah. factors as well the species ex extinction has been going on for you know most of this century. Look at look look at the, the animals that have already Definitely gone. Accelerated it. Exactly. We've accelerated you know, ten thousand a year. We've hunted them or just bred them to you know eaten them to extinction. Um, yeah, there, there's an element of that, but again, I don't think that argument in itself is, is enough. So I'm asking you to change me, and you. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. We're just so what would what thing. would I say to I you to change listen. you? And listen. you're like, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I still yeah. wouldn't listen to that even. There's nothing no. you're going to listen to. That's. No, no. <laughs> You try. I'm going. I'm going. All right, bro. So take it easy, mate. All right, thank you. Take care, mate. How you going, buddy? Do you want to have a conversation? Oh, she's been waiting first. Come and have a chat then. Are you huh? Vegan? Am I? Are you vegan? What makes you say that? <laughs> Are you vegan? Oh, good. Good to hear. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs>